Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn and I am the author of the young adult novel Essence and today I just thought we'd talk about time management skills. As most of you know, I am currently in college. In fact, I am sitting in my dorm room right now and um, a lot of you were asking how the whole writing thing was going with college and the truth is I haven't really been writing but it's not because I'm in college, it's because the novel I just finished writing is currently being edited and when it's done being edited I'm gonna work with my aunt who's the one working on it and the two of us are gonna like brainstorm and then I'll start writing again but basically I thought I'd talk about more how I find time to sit down and read every day or at least most days um, but I'm also on my cross-country team here in college, so I'd like to think my schedule's a little more um, busy than most people would be. But my huge thing is to get a planner. This is my personal planner, and in fact, I have a little notebook in the back that has, you know, just stuff I need to talk about. But this is my planner. It's from ErinCondren.com. And it works perfectly for me. I had one last year. And this one I like just because you're able to personalize it and put your own pictures on it and stuff. But, um, so basically you have the planner and then it has like really pretty quotes and stuff. But I like it because it has like the calendars. But then there's also, here, this is like a real month calendar where it gives you like stickers that you can fill in and you can say what you're doing and then it has this little area which is the weekly part and it has morning day and night and that's what I like and then you have like over here where you can write in the margins down here where you can write this is kinda of, sorta of like a typical week for me I have my class times written down and my classes I have written down in like colorfuls, like that's stuff that I have a specific time. And then when I have something that I need to do that day, I just write it in black or, and then I also have my work hours written down here. I usually use down here for like a shopping list. But what I find for scheduling is that one, you need to write down what time you're doing everything at so you don't um, forget and lose track of things because if I don't write something down, it will not get done. So I have that, like, times that I need to meet people at and be at places at. And then, um, also, if you need to accomplish something that day, but you don't necessarily need to do it at the, a specific time, you need to write that down also. And I personally just really enjoy writing it down, because, like, um, I have to do that, like, just to write a letter to a friend who's in college, I have to do that. Like, I have to write, you know, write this letter and I have to write down scan computer for virus because my computer was working really slow. But this was like my October month um, when stuff was happening, tests that were due, my cross country meets, where we were going, doctor's appointments, different things like that. So you have to keep it all written down. I'll actually put the link down below to AaronConjuring.com because this isn't the only type of planner they have. They come in different covers and the covers can actually come off now and you can put on a new cover. But I personally really love this cover. But they're kind of expensive but they're really worth it if you ask me. I also put business cards for like my doctors back here and then I have, you know, just stuff that I had to write down that I didn't have a necessarily defined notebook for. But it's really nice because it has like all these blank pages in the back. So another part of time management is that you need to get the important things done first. A lot of people are like, oh, I'll, I'll watch TV and then I'll do my homework. But you have to realize you can watch TV as much as you want, but your homework is only going to take so long. So what I do, I always finish my homework first and then say I have an hour left of the day before I have to go to bed. Then that's my TV time or since I don't watch TV, that's my reading time. So I always get my homework done first that's due the next day. I always get that done and then I'll move on and, you know, do whatever. And for studying for tests, if it's a huge, gigantic test I'm worried about, I will, you know, set a little bit each day so I don't have to sit down because I hate sitting down for hours and doing homework if I don't enjoy the subject. So I do that. And so that's basically what I do. You know, I go to class in the morning, then 
I have my cross country practice. We go to dinner. After dinner, I finish my homework. And then for the rest of the night, I do whatever I want. And I actually usually have quite a long time, which I feel I've lucked out for this semester because I'm just an entering freshman, so I have kind of somewhat easy courses. But at the same time, I have di more difficult courses. So it just depends on what classes you're put in. So as long as you manage yourself, you can read while you're in college. You can, you know, get stuff done. But everybody's different. You find things that work, things that don't. I personally love writing everything down. I just like this journal because it's colorful and it has all these little tabs. But that's just me. I like pretty things. But I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any time management tips, don't be afraid to comment below and tell me. And as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up.